Singer and songwriter KT Oslin passed away Monday morning, December 21st. Oslin was 78 years old. Music Row was the first to report Oslin's death, citing she struggled for years with Parkinson's disease and more recent, a battle with COVID-19 as possible contributors to her passing. The industry trade magazine says Oslin had been living in an assisted living facility since 2016. Her official cause of death has not yet been shared. Oslin was a decorated Grammy, ACM, and CMA award-winning hitmaker, best known for songs including 80s Ladies and Do Ya. She also notched many top 10 hits during the late 1980s and early 90s. Born in Crossett, Arkansas in 1942, Oslin focused on theater in New York City before giving Nashville a try first in the early 80s. Although it didn't produce much commercial success, her songs did get picked up by artists including The Judds and Dottie West. She then began to draw a claim that would eventually lead her to sign with RCA Records several years later. Speaking of several years later, country radio success didn't come until later in Austin's career. She was 45 years old when a trio of top 10 country airplay hits propelled her into the mainstream spotlight. Both the ACM and CMA Awards named Austin the top female vocalist in 1988, and she won a pair of Grammy Awards for Hold Me in 1989, which followed a Grammy win for 80s Ladies the year prior. Then in 1990, Come Next to Me was Oslin's final number one hit, earning two Grammy nominations. Before we list some of her other noteworthy numbers, feel free to leave any words of love and encouragement for Oslin's family and friends in the comments section below. I'll always come back. Released in January 1988, this was the fourth single from the album 80s Ladies. It was Oslin's second number one on the country chart, and it spent a total of 13 weeks on the country chart. I'll always come back, come back, baby, to you, I'll always run back. 80s Ladies. This number was released in April 1987 as the second single and title track from Oslin's album 80s Ladies, really kickstarting her career. The song notched number 7 on the Billboard Hot Country Singles and Tracks chart, winning Song of the Year at the 1988 CMA Awards. Money this number was released in July 1988 as the first single from the album This Woman. It climbed to number 13 on the Billboard Hot Country Singles and Tracks chart. Hold Me. Released in September 1988 as the second single from her album This Woman, it was Oslin's third number one on the country chart. Hey Bobby. This number was also the third single from the album This Woman, reaching number two on the Billboard Hot Country Single and Tracks chart. It's on a hilltop, we can park in the shade and dance on the ground. A biography at All Music points out that Oslin underwent quadruple bypass surgery in 1995 but recovered fully. She'd explore various types of music in the years to come including Americana and Disco. Her last recording was a 2015 album on Red River Records called Simply. Although Oslin is gone, she will never be forgotten in the country music community. Funeral arrangements for Oslin are unknown at this time. I'm Addison Hager for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching, and as always, thanks for subscribing.